That was excellent. I've, we've ordered uh, from Eric probably about three times now, actually. And yeah, it's been incredible. Uh, just, just anything to help him, you know, out during the lockdown, it's been really good. So I had the meatballs and also the chicken curry. We've had the vermicelli uh, chicken, I think it's a lemongrass, that's been one of our favourites as well. But today's one was exceptional as well. So I think it's, it's done really well. Yeah, I'll definitely recommend it to any of the islanders to come and check it out. Is there anything else you want me to do whilst I do it? Because I've already put enough pickle on it. It's been really fun to collaborate with my older brother to create um, such good Vietnamese food for um, people to just enjoy an experience. I'm definitely really proud of him. So yeah, because we both just love cooking and baking um, like so, so much, and we just want to make people happy through our cooking and all that. Um, I think or like the components of like Vietnamese food. There's a lot of components. You've got like the pickle, the cucumber. There's so many little things. Um, that you have to add to it to try and like bring out the true flavour. Um, that's quite a crucial component with Vietnamese food, so we've tried to keep it as um, authentic as possible. In terms of like with how we've twist the like twists and stuff, um, so there's a vegan caramelised tofu on the menu and lemongrass chicken. Lemongrass is quite like an essential flavour in Vietnamese food and with the vegan tofu, we know that like nowadays a lot of people like vegetarian and vegan food, so we've tried to accommodate to those kind of requests. Is that enough meat? I know. Is there more? That's good. Yeah, that's good. My favourite food, definitely the caramelised meatballs, the nem nung is so good. Like my mum used to make them like super garlicky and I really like I like a lot of garlic in my food. So it's always a bonus <laughs> which makes them the way I want them to. And they've been really popular on the menu. We've just launched them today and um, we've almost sold out so it's definitely really unexpected. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Yeah good, how are you? I'm good thank you. Oh thanks for this. You're welcome. Ah oh, the curry. So this is like new on the menu, right? Yeah, so this um, has been introduced this week actually. I've been working on it for a few weeks and it's my grandmother's recipe for the chicken curry. Oh, really? Yeah. So is that um, why you decided to put it on here? It is actually. So um, Mong Ta started because of her. So when oh. I was growing up, um, she used to cook in the house and she used to live with us. So she kind of taught me all the things I needed to learn going forward. And um, yeah, I guess this is kind of like a tribute to her in terms of cooking the food that she cooked for me and then giving back as well because uh, she grew up in Vietnam but then she had right. to leave due to the Vietnam War Okay. and we work with Saigon Children Charity and basically we give back 10% uh, of our profits every month and this goes to the disadvantaged children and it helps reduce poverty as well. So I tried the one of the first things that you had, the noodles with the chicken. Oh yeah. Um, I thought that was really, really good. So oh, I was really you. excited to try this one. How does it feel having like a little soft launch in a shop? Honestly, it's been great. Like the team here are awesome. Like they've all tried the food and they loved it so much that they wanted to bring me into the picture as well. So to be able to serve the residents here and like cook the food that I've eaten growing up is really nice. It's, it's like a nice experience that I want to share with, with everyone. I was spending a lot of time at home due to being in lockdown and I decided I wanted to be, like, be more creative at home. Mm. So from, um, in terms of on my day job, I'm a, I work in finance. Yeah. So this kind of allowed me to be more creative and kind of work on different things. So, um, so yeah, coming down here has been quite a big jump. 
because it was not really in the plan. The feedback has been, has been great yeah. and it's like a really, really nice feeling just to see the food that I've cooked and that people are really enjoying it as well. So, have you been um, surprised by the support? Because it's been quite a large group of people that have just been like, wow, yeah. this, is, this is worth it. Yeah, honestly, the last few weeks have been very surreal. Like I, when I first started out, I did not plan for it to become anything like this. It was more just, I honestly thought I'd maybe get one or two orders and then going forward. But um, it has just been like consistently, people have been showing a lot of support. Yeah. And it's just like really, really nice to see. Um, just talk us through the menu a little bit. What have you got? Sure. So at the moment, I'm introducing new things um, coming into like autumn, winter time. So I started off with the chicken and the tofu and the prawn with the vermicelli noodles. So everything is house made. Right. And then going forward now, we're going to start introducing some warmer items. So we've got like the grilled meatballs, uh, the grilled prawn skewers and also the chicken curry. Mm -hmm. So that's quite nice because I think once the weather gets a bit cooler, you want something like warm, spicy and just kind of like satisfies that, you know, that kind of cold feeling that you have during winter. So how has today gone? Like, have you been happy with the turnout? Oh, it's been phenomenal. Yeah, I, I think um, luckily we've prepped. We spent some time prepping yesterday and this morning. Yeah, I saw your family in there. Yeah, my family have actually come down from Sheffield for yeah. the day. Uh, they came down yesterday and um, they've been helping out with, with all the prep. I've just been kind of picking up pieces here and there, so I owe it to them really. And also the residents here who have ordered everything. So it, 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 like, it really does mean a lot. Still kind of trying to process everything that's happening because it's, yeah. it's gone very, very quick, but I'm still very grateful for like, how it's turned out. It's really exciting for sure and I'm super proud of my brother and what he's achieved and I know this is something that he's always dreamt of doing, especially with his like um, his passion and his love towards food and cooking. So yeah, super impressed. Number 60? 60? 60. Yeah. Yep, just a lemongrass chicken. Yep, do you need a fork or anything? Do you want a bag for this? Yeah, that's right. Yes, that's fine.